been reading a book about Rosa Parks entitled Who is Rosa Parks? This is uh, actually a kid's book, but it's very well written and it's very informational. Uh, the introduction is titled Who is Rosa Parks? It tells you a little bit about Rosa Parks. This is maybe about a two, three minute long uh, small chapter that your kids can sit down, watch, listen to, write a summary about, you know, they can use it for their schoolwork, do projects on. Uh, but it's about three minutes long, so sit back and enjoy. Peace. Who was Rosa Parks? The introduction. Pine Level, Alabama, 1919. Every morning, Rosa Parks walked to school. Every afternoon, she walked back home again. There was no school bus to take her to school. She didn't mind to walk. She was used to it. Often she saw a big yellow school bus roll right past her. But the bus never stopped for her. All the children aside were white. It was taking them to the school that was for white students only. Rosa was black. Rosa grew up in Pine Level, Alabama. At that time, the South, in the South, black people and white people led separate lives. All of Rosa's friends and family were black. She hardly knew any white people. How could she? Black people weren't allowed in the same restaurants or hotels. They couldn't swim in public pools with white people or drink from the same water fountains. Every time she saw a bus carry a white, white children to and from school, it made her feel like black children didn't matter as much as white children. Sometimes white children threw trash out the windows trying to hit the black children. After a while, Rosa and the other black children stopped walking by the road. They went through the fields instead. The school for white children was nicer too. It had real glass pane windows, and at Rosa's school, there was no glass windows, only shutters. Still, Rosa knew inside that she was good enough as any white child, and she was, she was as good as anyone, and one day she would prove it.